What's going on, y'all? This is Corner Sports Net. Thank you for tuning in. Check it out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. It's real easy. Doesn't take long. I'm going to talk about Emmitt Smith. I, he had the nerve to say Dak Prescott should take a pay cut. He says Dak Prescott is the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. So there's opportunities outside of, of the football field and endorsements and other benefits that he can receive by just being a Dallas Cowboy quarterback. Now, Dak Prescott already has endorsements. He already makes about $10 million a year off the field. But what is crazy is Emmitt Smith held out as a rookie. He held out 48 days before he signed the contract four years and $5 million. Then a little later on in his career, when his con rookie contract was up, he held out again. He missed two regular season football games before Jerry Jones signed him to a $13.6 million contract for four seasons. So you have to ask, you have to ask yourself, why would he tell Dak Prescott to take less money. Why? He's ne he never took less money. He also left the Cowboys near the end of his career. Talk about Emmitt Smith now. He went to Arizona and got a nice piece of money for two years when he was almost done as a qual quality football player. So he could have retired in Dallas on a bargain basement contract, but he decided to go to Arizona for more money. Emmitt Smith was always about money. So why would he tell Dak Prescott to take less money when Dak Prescott only made $2 million last year? $2 million. He's been vastly underpaid. Is it because Old cowboy legends like Michael Irvin and Emmett Smith, they don't want to get on the bad side of Jerry. Oh yeah, Michael Irvin also said that uh Dak Prescott should take less money. Which is ridiculous. The quarterbacks in the NFL today. On average, the starting quarterbacks make $16 million a year. Yeah, Dak is asking for about $35, $40 million a year. But the top quarterbacks in the NFL are getting 33 34 28 29 $27 million a year. So even though it sounds crazy, but the thing is you aim high and then you come to a figure that can work for both of y'all. But I don't understand why Emma Smith would be giving that advice for Dak Prescott. Like I said, Emma Smith always was about his money. He never took less money. And Emma Smith was also in favor of Zeke Elliott getting a contract extension. So why is he telling Dak to take less money? There's some things I'm just thinking about on a Thursday night before I go watch my Sixer game. This is Corner Sports Net. I'll talk to you guys later.